With breaking news this afternoon. That's right. Uh, the state health department releasing more information about a case of measles here in East Tennessee. Yeah, we are learning a lot more today. An investigation has identified two locations now that a patient visited in East Tennessee where members of the public may have been exposed to measles. People who were at a MAPCO in Chattanooga, the one at 200 Browns Ferry Road between 7:30 p.m. and 10 p.m. On April 11th, may have been exposed. Also, people at the Speedway in Clinton, the one at 2148 North Charles G. Seavers Boulevard, on April 12th from 5:30 p.m. to 8 in the evening, may have been exposed to the measles as well. Those are the specifics we have right now. Now we are going to a press conference from state health officials about measles in yeah. Tennessee. Here in just a few minutes, you see the location there. We're monitoring that, and just as soon as they start uh, the, the conference, we. Will We'll take you there. Yeah, but interesting to see what they have to say. But yeah. anyone who visited either of those locations, we need to point out during the specified times and dates, should do the following: check your immunization status. People who have had two doses of the measles, mumps, rubella, or MMR vaccine are protected against measles and need to take no further action in regard to an exposure to measles. And if you are not immune, watch for symptoms of the illness, which include fever, runny nose, body aches, watery eyes, and white spots in the mouth. Several days after these symptoms start, a red spotty rash typically begins on the face and spreads over the body. Symptoms may develop any time in the 21 days following exposure. Now, if you do develop measles symptoms, stay home and contact your health care provider. Anyone with symptoms should call a health care provider first before going into any uh, health care center to prevent further exposure of others to the illness. Now, again, there is still only one confirmed case in Tennessee. The health department establishing a hotline to answer your questions about measles. That number is 865-549-5343. But I understand if you're not sure yeah. about a vaccine, ask your doctor ask your because doctor. there may be a blood test you yep. can get to find that out. Definitely go ahead and take advantage of that. All right.